42 on a Friday. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Meredith Shaw, Sid Sixero here with you. Thousands of people, I don't know if you heard, are flocking east or south next week <laughs> to catch a glimpse of the rare total eclipse, something experts have called a once-in-a-lifetime event. And joining us this morning to bring us up to speed on all things eclipse-related is Walter Stoddard, research programmer at the Ontario Science Centre. We're bringing the science this morning. Good morning, Walter. Good morning. Great to have you here. Good Thank to see you. you. Mm -hmm. The coat okay. makes it official. Yeah, yes, it really right. does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Oh, of course. Okay, so... <laughs> What, what is going on during this eclipse? Because we've been focused on glasses, forecast, traffic patterns, yeah. road closures in yeah. Niagara region. But what about the thing what is it? that's yeah. happening? <laughs> like, what, like, what's the science behind it? Okay, okay. Well, it, it's a celestial event. It's, it's happening up in the sky. But uh, I brought some plushies. Uh, which, which we sell at the Ontario Science Center, uh, that we can use to <laughs> perhaps tell that story. Okay. So, so we have the sun. Okay. If, if you yeah. are, sun plus sun. I will absolutely be the sun. That's there fantastic. This is like and me before hair and makeup Sid, in the if, morning. If you, yeah. if you, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that is not yeah. true. <laughs> Always a ray of sunshine. Meredith Shaw. Right, right. And so, so we have, right, the sun shines mm -hmm. and the yeah. earth sees it, but we have the moon. Okay, right? we, have, we have the moon. No, no, not, no, not, not, <laughs> I didn't do that right, did I? Uh, right, close enough. I should stay here. Let's you, stay here. So you, you want science? Yeah. Science. It's science. This, this moon to okay. pass in front of the sun. Okay, so oh, this right. is around 319, 320 Eastern Monday. Right, right. And do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. And, and take that. And the, the sun is now blocked by the moon eclipse. And depending on its position, it's either partial or total, depending on where you're standing and able to what you're able to see. And, and in fact, there's, there's, there's other conditions in which the moon might be closer cloud, or further. Right? But, oh, yeah. What if the clouds come? Then, the clouds like come. <laughs> 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 then, 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 then we all uh, go. We're gonna do this more. Go get a sandwich. Okay. 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 Isn't this is great. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. That, but, but if in Niagara yeah. region, though, that's a that's a that's a bang on 100 percent right in front of. That's the right. Center. In Niagara, in, in Hamilton, in 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 Burlington, uh, in Montreal, it's it's drawing a line right from uh, from from. Mexico all mm -hmm. the way across the United States up into Canada to the to the maritime so there's a line to follow that where the totality will happen where the total eclipse will be viewable that is the path of totality the path of totality bah, bah, bah. yeah, the yeah. Path it deserves of its own theme song absolutely. it really does <laughs> and so uh, Toronto though is specifically here that it falls slightly outside of that path that's right so we're a little what, north of it what can we expect if we're, we're taking it in from you know this part of the sky so so we get a, a partial eclipse but it's it's over 90 percent moving towards 99 oh. percent so that's great right so it'll it'll get dark the, the it may already be dark if there are clouds <laughs> but it'll get darker <laughs> as the as the moon moves in front of the sun it, it the, it'll dim you might notice that Animals change their behavior. That's always something neat, right? It, it, they may think it's it's nighttime, so they start going to bed. Or the ones that come out at night may start to wake up. And mm. you, you have uh, it may feel different. You may actually feel the temperature change because the sun is no longer hitting this part of the earth. Now, the, before we, we get to what you have here on the table, mm -hmm. there are people concerned that the glasses they've gotten for this aren't up to code. How do you know if your Eclipse glasses are the real deal? Right. Well, literally code, right? Like there's a, a code on it, which is the ISO number. And so you want to you make sure that it has the, the right ISO number on it, which uh, I, these glasses won't do me any good to read it. <laughs> which one, two, I'll give three. A shot. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, dash two. Okay. So you're looking for. Like, can we even that show code this? Or, yes, let's in do the, this. In the corner. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, important. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. there, there, are, there are a lot of people trying to get their hands on these glasses. So that obviously uh, leaves the opportunity for people to sort of make some fake ones. Okay, that's good yeah. to know. Very Literally. good to know. Look for a rep reputable source, someone that you trust. Oh, you, yeah. should, yeah. you should have this back. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. hot yeah. commodities. Yes. <laughs> but if we're not able to access those, obviously, safety first. There are some interesting ways that we can kind of replicate that at home. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can you can see it indirectly. Right? Indirectly. So this okay. is for direct viewing, and and you want to do that partial eclipse. When total eclipse, as soon as you can't see any more, if you're in totality, you can take it off for that those few minutes that it's told. But but partial eclipse, wherever you are, you want to view indirectly. This is something that uh, we teach you how to make on our website. You can look through. There's a little pinhole, it's a pinhole camera that projects the sun on the inside of the box so that you're able to see on the 
little white screen on the inside there. And safe. It's a, and it's a cereal box. Yeah. Perfectly because now I'm helpful. looking, you look away from the sun, you have the sun projected through that, that pinhole like a lens. You can do that very easily with stuff like this. Like that's a potato masher. Yeah. Right? And this is a, a, a straining spoon. Yeah. Or a colander. And so now you have holes that you can view the sun through, project it on the ground, focus it, and, and now you have, you're able to, to see the sun. Okay. And see the moon move in front of it. So indirect viewing, yeah. Okay, good things to know. Blowing my mind right now. Yeah, isn't that okay, cool? Okay, so right. glasses up, strainer down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, <laughs> just, just Cole's notes that's for you. That's perfect, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that's great. I can remember that for the next time I talk about it. Here. Yeah. Moon. This that, is the moon. That, 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 that's, that's the moon Not we're talking about. Stuff. Yeah. That is the moon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. no, listen, this is gonna be, this is, it, there's a lot to this. But the science of it alone is amazing. In 30 seconds, what will people learn from this event here on Earth? Okay, 30 seconds. Well, it, <laughs> when, the sun, really bright, hard to see, the corona, right? It's crown. When you cover the light coming from the sun, now we can take a good look at the corona. So that's, that's a great thing that we're able to do during an eclipse. And also the other things that I, I mentioned, being able to, to look at the animals, what do they do? That's a neat mm. thing to explore. Uh, and, and the personal connection, I think, is the most powerful. Wow. We're able to experience this thing together, stretched through sp well, space and time. Think of every eclipse that's ever been, we're connected to everyone who's ever seen it or ever will. While we still have a moon, it, it's moving away. But millions of years. Yeah. That's another segment. <laughs> we'll, talk yeah. we'll talk about that yeah. next week. Yeah. I know, yeah, I'm yeah. really glad Where's that, you, the moon going? that you brought that around. Because I do, you know, we're having some fun with it. We're, but there, there is something really unbelievable that we're going to be, like you say, connected to other people years and years and hundreds of years ago True. that yeah. experienced this. Yeah. So it is it is really something to, yeah. to behold and to, right. to look forward to. So thank you for all that clarity. I appreciate that. Uh, where can people find more information? At OntarioScienceCenter.ca. And at the Ontario Science Centre, the weekend before the eclipse, we're, we're actually not hosting a viewing party because we're not in totality. But before that, we will show you how to make things in order to explore the eclipse. Uh, beads that change colour in sunlight. So when the sun goes, beads change. Awesome. Walter, thank you very much for coming by. You're welcome. Enjoy My the eclipse. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.